All right, just a quick video of where we're at on this bus. I'm sorry, it's been a while. Uh, I had a very, very busy summer. So I have the panel out I, uh, from the ceiling that is fiberglass. I'm about to put it in. We have the Max Air fan in. Everything's insulated and taped. Wired, pre-wired for several different things, which we'll get to another time. But that is all there is going right now. I'm gonna hang that ceiling. I'm gonna strip the floors and put up in a subfloor and start banging out the walls. Okay, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get glue off of a bus floor. I'm in a 2006 shuttle bus. And I'm slowly getting the glue off of this floor. But after looking up all sorts of different solvents, uh, this is the best. And you can sit here and try and scrape on it. It would take you hours to do that. Uh, and I started doing it that way, even used a wallpaper scraper. But I have a pneumatic uh, grinder. And I put a... Uh, steel or I think it's a carbon steel twisted steel uh, brush on it's a four inch cup and watch this get to spots that have uh, a whole lot more glue you just uh, go over it once hit it with a little more rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol is super cheap no need for expensive solvents and here we go again You can see that gets right down to the bare wood, gets all the glue off of there, and so then I can seal it. Hope that's helpful. Okay, I officially have a blank canvas. Got the uh, glue all removed. The floor is sealed with kills. Um, you know, I know a lot of people take out these um, these little wheelchair seat belt things but uh it takes a 9 16th thin wall socket and apparently i can't find a thin wall socket small enough to get in the hole to take that out so i'm gonna leave them because i'm putting a subfloor in and we'll just cut around it not a big deal anyway uh i did use automotive undercoating to seal the uh tracks that were a bit rusty um and i'm gonna do some some under uh, automotive undercoating in a couple other spots. I've got a little bit of a gap over there that's going to need it on the underside. So we'll get that, but the kills is down and we're ready to build. Alrighty, just a real quick update. Um, got the floor boards in. And I've got the uh, everything insulated and taped. Got a little bit of... Um, um, havelock wool along the edge there because that wall isn't exactly straight and then there too got a little sawdust in it because I had to do some planing to make sure everything is flat and ready for the subfloor so we'll do the subfloor put the furring strips in and we'll start on the walls next the ceilings already been insulated as you've seen, I've got some cool ceiling tiles that'll go up there. Everything is going to be nice and lightweight in, in here. I gridded this <clears throat> because I'm using um, a quarter inch ply, so it's not as heavy. <clears throat> and the other reason is so I have a spot to um, to screw cabinets to and whatnot. And there will be a wall on this wider board here. Um, so 
you know, that's my reasoning. This is a little different because there's a metal plate underneath there. I had to do a little bit of planing uh, to make sure that all the boards were kind of straight and everything would meet up perfectly for the subfloor. So that's it. It's done. And we'll put the subfloor in tomorrow. All right, just a quick update. I've got the subfloor in, and I primed it because I'm actually going to put down the the least expensive stick down tiles, uh, and you need to kind of to have a clean surface to adhere it to. So that's why I primed this with kills. Uh, everything's looking real good in here, and we're ready to. Put up walls next okay guys just wanted to show you something here i'm in the process of uh sealing all of the windows on this um and i just want you to know that if you plan on doing a shuttle bus and you are taking the windows out first of all do them one at a time uh, because you can destabilize the entire wall it can kind of get off Probably not in this shuttle bus, but a lot of the ones uh, that that have kind of a basic frame and a basic shell. This is a real thick fiberglass shell, so um, not not too much of a concern here. But best to do them one at a time. But when you go to start uh, doing your your windows, expect that you're going to find things like this, and you're going to spend way more on sealants and things for your bus than you ever expected um, just to show you what's going on those clamps are about to come off um, don't mind my shitty paint job here but um, I there was a little when I was scraping the outside off some of this paint chipped off and I just wanted to seal it this is actually a metal uh, skin on here um, but then I've got the the window down here and I've got this Dicor sealant. It's a sticky, tacky sealant. Uh, now, this stuff, you can get the Dicor brand on Amazon for about 11 bucks for 30 feet. Uh, it's a little cheaper on Home Depot, but it's, but it's a little more narrow, so I had to use two strips of it. So that's going to go up in there, and the, and the um, frame that I took off on the inside, and I, and I have kind of cleaned it up, uh, we'll squeeze it together. It'll take and squeeze this and squeeze that seal on. And then I'm going to use a good quality um, RV black caulk around this. This whole thing's going to get painted, so I wasn't too concerned about my overspray here. But anyway, uh, that's, that's where I'm at for now. That's what's going on. All right, everybody. just want to give you a quick heads up on where I'm at. Um, got all the framing done. It's not perfect, but it's all going to get skinned. I had to have a channel for the electrical. That back wall I had to be really careful of because there's wiring and stuff back there for the tail lights. So I used a shorter screw and glued everything in. Just furring stripped it. Everything's going to get skinned in here with wall board. And then there's my other wall. And... The floor is a mess, but it is uh, does have the subfloor and the insulation in. Next, I'm going to insulate in between the the boards. Haven't exactly decided what I'm doing with the with the window. If I'm going to, you know, perhaps put a put a sill type thing in here and insulate the bottom half and skin it up to there or just skin to the bottom of the windows. I did go through and paint these because I realized that um, this is at about 38 inches, I think, 36 inches, 36 maybe. Um, but you know, when you consider countertop height and with the bed that's going to be in the back, that mattress is gonna sit up probably about here. So. You know, just for a matter of privacy and not being able to see what's in here. And I'm not going to do overhead cabinets. I'm, I'm going to do a shelf basically all the way across and all the way on this side. Uh, and instead of doing uppers. So this should feel really open in here. I uh, haven't 100% decided what I'm doing with this space. But I will note that I've run a space heater in here. And uh, 
propane heater both uh, two different times and it stays pretty warm with the insulation on the floor and the ceiling. Uh, once I get the walls done, I should be able to work in here this winter. So uh, pretty jacked about it. So, so far so good. And we'll leave you there. Okay, everybody, going to try and do a real quick video here showing you that I have what I can insulated. And I just want to talk to you about a couple of different things here. Um, so there's somebody that asked about uh, magnet and framing. So this this uh, magnet here is what I use to figure out where the metal framing is in the bus. Um, I have it marked up above so I know I'm putting shelf brackets uh, in here. Um, there's framing in between all of the windows and it does continue on through the ceiling. Um, there's not framing on the outside of the windows. Uh, and then I uh, just want to show you something here real quick on the back. So if you decide to do any drilling on the back of these Star Trans buses, you need to be extremely careful because you can see that the lights are right here. And that comes in right about here on this, on this bus. So when you're putting screws in, you have to be very careful to not puncture your wires or you're going to have a, have a problem. So what I did on this back wall was used furring strips with uh, one and a quarter inch uh, wood screws. And I glued this, the furring strips in, insulation in between. And then, uh, of course, I, I like tuck tape because it takes care of keeping it in there. And it takes care of... Um, you know, like any any leaks or that type of thing if your insulation isn't perfect. One other thing I'm going to do is I have these LED lights that will run up along the board. And when I put the wall board in here, it will come up about an inch and a half above this. And then I have panels that, that are PVC panels that will wrap over. And then the last thing that I want to show you here is on the door. Um... This, these doors are, are pretty thin, so, uh, you know, let some air in and that type of thing. So what I did on the inside of the windows was cover them with Reflectix, and then I used the, the silver uh, tape for the Reflectix to uh, seal it in and then put the uh, foam board over it and taped it in. And what I'm going to end up doing is using plywood strips around the door. I'm going to take these doors off glue in plywood strips, put a thin layer of Reflectix over the center of the doors and then seal it and skin it. And then the rest of this is just gonna get skinned <clears throat> with a real thin wall board, likely what you'd find in a, in a trailer. Uh, and then two quick things, Let's see, whoops, uh, my temperature, drop this. Temperature is 72 in here right now, and it's pretty cool outside. And the reason for that is because I'm running a propane heater. And yes, these make moisture. Uh, I'd recommend a diesel heater. This is just temporary uh, for me. Diesel heater probably will be later. So that's it for now. My floor is, subfloor is in. It's all insulated. Ceiling has insulation running where it can and walls where it can. And I'll use some type of a... Um, insulative cover over the windows as well but we'll get there when we get there one step at a time okay one final clip in this video uh, just showing you that I have the walls all up and then what this is is paneling board but I flipped it over because I didn't want the photo finish on it and so I'll prime and paint this kind of like a brown board it's real inexpensive but we are up, so I'm going to uh, get everything dusted off, primed and painted, clean the floor and prime it again, wash the ceiling, and then those uh, tiles will go up later. So that's it. And with that little propane heater, you can see that we are running 70 degrees up here in the cold part of the, of the bus. So the insulation obviously is working. It's about 30 degrees outside today and 70 in here. So 
All right, so that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll, uh, as I'm building cabinets and installing them, I'll let you know what I'm doing. Hope you like my ideas and they're helpful to your build.